Way to go. South or... East. We need to get another city from them. Within the end of the week, so... Four days. Not sure if I should upgrade this at the moment. Now we can always build major skills. There's a good chance something useful will pop up out of that. But here's the more important thing. Where do we go? I haven't... There's a, probably a military outpost there. I, I don't think they can kill anyone on my side. the road as long as it'll go. Probability of finding a city there at the end is quite high. Two heroes. I might I have to backtrack. The most important thing is removing his armies and reducing the number of worthwhile heroes. So as much as I'd like to take another city, it's that's not really the deciding factor in the fight. Once you lose your high level heroes, that's game over. Good army they have. It's a mixed army though, with a necromancer leading it. Knowledge of one, so the high spell power is pretty much wasted. He can cast a single spell and then it's game over. Still, he has a ton of uh, good knight. Might as well attack something the enemy can attack, you know, matter what I do. This is, no, this wasn't a spell, this was just a howl.
they can't really cause too many casualties to me. Once we get things buffed up a little bit, they're in a worse and worse situation. Act before the zombies. Yes, so I could make a dive attack on them. Right, this is his only spell casting. You know, he might uh, get another. Wasp swarm. That's about it. Probably our last uh, chance to resurrect anything. Two knights or an angel? I'll take the angel. Two knights lost, another good hero, and a lot of decent army lost on their side. Familiar ground. All creatures in a hero, knight or ranger army receives plus one for movement speed if the battle is taking place on grassy terrain. I suppose it's better than navigation. Hero we see should retreat. The death sentence to come further north. Can't we buy this one? Uh, we don't have crystal. I suppose I haven't been paying attention to our resource production. That'll give me the crystal I need. Yeah, 
It's uh, not that well upgraded Haven Town. Totally new hero. No, but it has this effect, so it's probably a high class hero. It's probably a good warlock. Probably. Take the city and uh, head toward the he enemy hero we spotted. Point staying here. We also have a huge amount of mobility on this hero, so even if he tries to just go to the city, there's a chance we might get him before he reaches it. That said, even if he gets the city, that's not exactly game over, so. Any troops we can buy here? Some. Not exactly a great spell to cast in that situation, but I more or less wanted to clear out certain things from the battlefield. Now, 
now things are much more simplified. We want the archer to be the last man to arrive. It's easier, easiest for me to control the situation in that 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 point. Uh, their numbers could be a little bit less. Don't dare to fire, I might kill them. I might be only be, only be able to resurrect things once. I'll try it twice. Recall how many units we had at the start. Oh, this is good. It's perfect. For some reason, they just insist on shooting at a single target, which is pretty much the worst possible thing you can do. I need to wait until his hero has a chance to do something. This is sort of... tough for us. I need to be able to sort of kill him without being able to kill us. So we need to protect, prevent him from firing. No oh shit, I, I fucked it up. I wasn't thinking clearly. Crap. There, no way the angel should have been put there. I have no idea what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking that's the problem. It's not a big loss, it's just an incredibly stupid thing to do. I'll take your money. Filthy money. Looks like an interesting town. No fortifications. Uh, experience point three. Might as well take it while we're go oh, nearby. I suppose retaliation strikes, although training sort of makes sense. It's just I don't want to use this hero in that fashion. Retaliation strikes sort of would make sense if I had, couldn't cast spells. So shit to village, we need to get out of here quickly. I might want to build the structures that provide us with additional crystal. We don't have too many of those. So each town acts as a crystal mine for us. 
bit expensive, but I'm sure it'll pay off then. It's the resource we had the least. We might also want extra sources of money, but I don't think we want to upgrade these things too much. Then extra spells. When does the mission end? Capture all Empire cities, meet Finden, the hero must survive, okay. So we probably want to contain them in a single city. In some ways it would be definitely better if it was something besides the one that's spewing out all these heroes. So I could leave one of these places undefended. At the same time, I think they more or less lost all of their good units and armies already. I'm seeing decent forces now coming our way, but not good heroes anymore. Level 9 is okay. The army numbers are nice, but nothing as drastic as that were appeared before. Minor losses, another hero and another army gone. Uh, he will also get a town portal at this point. Might not be a horrible thing to rush toward. You should have. No, 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 he could possibly. He couldn't have town portal. He was below level 20 when we started this. I can get it on the next turn. I sort of want to go and get it. It would simplify things quite a bit. Mm, but we technically... Uh, technically this, technically that. It would be a very convenient thing to have. And he's, uh, he's a hero that's been appearing in multiple different campaigns now, so I would definitely like to let him have those basic utility uh, abilities. Although this is the final campaign of the main game, so I'm not sure if it's any useful anymore. Uh, Spell-wise, I don't think we're gonna get anything particularly new. Much range attack power as we can muster. We're like, and flying power, because we're going against cities. 
Summon a boat. Instant travel, town portal. I'll bring this hero to the top side too. I suppose we could uh, try going here and summoning a boat. I doubt that would actually work. Archangels defending this. Archangels and only Archangels. Haven towns are light and dark towns. There's almost no summoning spells at the end. I suppose this is not a random thing. I haven't paid that much attention to it. I've noticed that naturally there's some differ different sections. But uh, I feel like this would have been nice things to know beforehand. Like if you're playing a Haven guy, there's no point taking specializations, anything but light or dark, because you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get attack spells or summoning spells. You, they're just not going to happen. At least have a warning that you know what you're getting into if you insist on having those. Okay, that costs quite a bit more than I thought, but Inquisitors are top lot. Uh, does Teal have any cities? Yeah, uh, his turns aren't normal anymore. So I think technically he might have control at least a little bit. He's not gonna have a huge amount of things anymore.
So he probably has something that's uh, fighting the yellow, sort of fighting in the quotation marks, so nothing's happening. But it's an army that we might have to take out or something. Right, I don't want to really fight with Godric anymore. I don't think uh, we're gonna see all that much of Godric. And he's he's well developed already, there's not much there. Uh, attributes, those are things we can go after. Z here has to be the one who still might have to fight here. Uh, technically, we don't really need new troops. The force we have with Godric is more than enough. I'm some, somewhat interested in seeing where the mission ends. There's still a lot unknown here. So, I would like to see it at least where Finden's army is, for example. You're not compatible with the army, right? Well, I think I've been in this situation before. Wonder where we teleport this time. Good enough. Teal and yellow are just waiting for something. I hope they don't react to me just seeing them. That would give me time to properly clear out the place. Shit. We have come farther and faster than I had hoped. But it has been savage. So many have fallen. Some that I knew. Yet Isabel and Markel are still at large. Not for long. We have Markal cornered. Archmage Zia and Lord Godric, I presume? Greetings, Finden of Ireland. It is an honor. So tell me, what is your plan? For the elves, the next step is simple. Death to Markal. Agreed. Harder. But that won't be easy. Markal is no fool, and he has prepared himself. His power resides in three legendary relics. The first is the Black Crystal. He has that? It lets you tap into an infinite well of magic. He can fire off spells all day and never get tired. I fear it is so. Second, the Cursed Garrison. I have seen it in action. It provides him with a constant stream of fresh troops, or freshly rotted troops, I should say. It makes his armies endless. It must also be destroyed. Third, he has managed to find a tier of Asha. It increases the power of everything he rules. He must have taken the one from Dunmore and corrupted it to suit his needs. Let's each take a target. I'll blow up the Black Crystal, Godric destroys the Cursed Garrison, and for Finden, the tier of Asha. Once we've destroyed them all, my friends, we'll celebrate on their smoking ruins. We agree with the intent, Zaire. For the harmony. Griffin Eternal? As things stand, my friends, I would be content if the Griffin Empire lasts a few more days. I'm no longer so bored to predict eternity. Defeat Markel, Zaire must Finden must survive, Godric must survive. So this is more or less just figured the next phase of action. And I'm not sure I want to trigger this at the moment. Because at this point you, you have to act, and I'm sort of still screwing about there.
Uh, I'm more or less thinking that Markel is in uh, leap mode, for lack of a better term. The moment we sort of see Vinden, that's going to end. But we want to do something before we engage in open warfare with the son of a bitch. We need to do it now. When the next stage starts, at least one of our armies has to be in a condition to basically just go uh, walk over anything that they throw their way. I'll only buy upgraded units. Mix, mix is better with the army Godric has. Right, uh, wait. 50 gold for a piece of wood. 62. Have a huge amount of resources to spend here. Hopefully we can wrap this up in a couple of weeks and move on to the next stage. Master of Curses. Oh, no complaints. Mass suffering is good, mass weakness is good. Even sure, do we need to trade troops or not? Nah, I don't think that's necessary. This might not be the best thing ever, but it is a good force. The thing is, what do we we need to prepare for the next step? So what's going to happen after this? And that's a different matter. We'll keep the rest. There's some additional troops we can buy. I'm not sure if I want to build additional production facilities here. We are we're troubly, troubled with the amount of money we get already. That said, to maybe some of the simpler ones, they're not that expensive to build. And we've already doing the fundamental base troops anyway. So more or less just upgrade the units we have, it doesn't cost too much. And we'll we're getting about ten thousand gold each day, so that's not exactly a small number either. Welcome some artifacts too at this point. The game has been very stingy on that front.
experience gained from battle is half. Help blow me. Looks like these places are mostly scoured empty already. We do something with it. But the rest are not really compatible. Still, we have multiple turns, so we might be able to go back and forth a few times. Very extra troops. I could buy a hero, an uh, additional hero to do it too, but I don't feel like uh, bothering with it. We're gonna have three fairly good heroes to the action hero already. That should be not. a massive amount of funds to buy all this shit. The angels alone are gonna cost a ton. Knowledge plus one. Incredibly useful for Godric. Any point in going out to sea? This is the question that intrigues me the most. I think I'll send Godric there. He certainly has a capable force, and we know where Finden is, so we know how things are going to be more or less unlocked here as things start to happen.
Makes Fist of Wrath and Raise Dead spells more powerful. Well, whoop we do. I don't use Fist of Wrath and Raise Dead doesn't really do anything for me. It would allow us to keep fighting with our troops for longer. We just wouldn't be able to counter their casualties. Uh, still, I'm thinking our uh, counter spelling. Because this guy doesn't really have all the amazing spells, so quite often he doesn't really have anything great to throw. In that situation, counter spelling might make a lot more sense. At least prevent the enemy from doing something incredibly annoying. Let's go on a boat. As long as we don't go anywhere near that center or that there, we should be fine. And it looks like someone's already been here, so there's really not that much to do. We can't probably hire anything out of this outpost. We can deny it from collecting additional troops for the enemy. We can fully move in this area. Morakal has to be in the lower left corner, but that doesn't seem likely.
looks like it's just a dead end. So you could have brought troops here for a free upgrade, but um, at this point, what the hell does that matter? We'll probably bring them to the final city that has every upgrade, so all, all the upgrades already. That should be enough. Also... Why the hell haven't you taken the goddamn city yet? Too many heroes? But I can't buy heroes in this. Well, that's nice. sort of relieved actually with this. I, I didn't miss out on anything good. We can uh, start focusing on proceeding the next stage of the fighting. Resources are nice, but not exactly all that interesting or relevant. Right, Godric, where the hell do you go? Pick up extra troops from there that you can, then upgrade them, that should be enough. Okay, next phase of the plan is ready to begin. I don't want to stretch that one out, so we'll try to end it as quickly as we're capable. I should have the funds to buy the angels and extra troops. Time to dump the cat people. Get enough peasants from this place to get 1000 conscripts. fighting. Angels, knights, and priests. Yeah, that sucked up a lot of money, but that doesn't matter. We 
We sort of have a little bit of a split with the forces with this one, and it's fine. It means we can have two very capable large armies functioning at the same time. They will have to work a little bit differently. The high tier units will go to Godric for the most part. But I don't think we should even give all of them to him. We have to all, after all, have to do three different jobs at the same time. But that's the core of his strength. The hero has to be able to deal with uh, whatever else is available. And I think it's actually for the better. He just needs some more or less a stack of hit points and he'll be fine. These have a massive amount of attack capabilities. I'll take those two. Mm. Yeah, there's still a significant amount of these. 100. I don't want to sell the resources yet, but at the same time I don't want to wait here too long. So I want some other troop type. I don't think it would make much of a difference. More of these would always be nice. We don't really need to build anything, so we might as well turn a lot of this to gold. I get four more of these. Get nice, easy to remember numbers. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Now we just need to wait for a few turns for Zahir to get the final attribute boost. Upgrade some of these. So maybe about four or five days before we are ready to move the next phase. We have fairly good strong stacks of basic units, and they, you, they're not easy to get rid of. You need something like four or five hundred half decent troops or a thousand shitty troops. And that means you need to be also the one who takes the first shot. If you're not, your army is just gonna end up getting wiped out. That's not really a simple matter. But yeah, it'll be enough.
focus will wait here. We'll buy as many of the high tier units for the here too. He's not that reliant on them. We're certainly not gonna wait here, so we'll buy as many as we can on this turn, and we'll go. We have two powerful armies. The, what the third one has is gonna join us. Doesn't really matter. We can, uh, if necessary, combine the armies to deal with any kind of uh, specialty threat Markel has. Sure, he's capable and he has these armies, but that's usually not quite enough. Uh, 19 angels, uh, more than I expected. Also, not really what I'm interested in. Naturally, I'll take them if I could afford them, but I can't really. Ah, uh, still, it's a, it's a decent grouping. We have great maneuverability thanks to the utility skills. We have decent armies. We can get reinforced as we really, really, really want to. So I think this is about as good as it needs to be. I'll take the observatory on the next turn. Right, final phase of the mission. Last third unexplored, although there is an underground area here, possibly at least. This army is by far, far the weakest. Hero is by far, far the strongest. Uh, he could use range units, he would perform massively better with those. I was sort of hoping that he'd join me. We need to give range units to him. He can end certain uh, fights with just the range units before the fight starts. So we can buy magical artifacts. Not that I care too much, but it's an option. I'm not giving any of these though. If I should do anything, I'm going to need some help soon anyway. The leeches will kill things with the resurrect. No, no one has died yet.
still that is very very likely to happen now. Yep. Uh, I could have buffed my own troops. I have the Benediction. He's very good at that skill anyway. Not quite sure what exactly is here. Everyone had something they need to perform, but there's no indication of which direction those objectives are, are so... We'll just move on and hope for the best. I'm sure Mark Cal is in some sort of a heavily dependent city with a billion troops, so I'm not particularly worried about accidentally playing him out of the fight. I was thinking of ending things here, but uh, it also looks like there's really not much of this mission anymore left to play. Made a mistake. Not a huge one, but still. There was no reason to bring all the troops to the battlefield. We should have just bring the angel. Unless there's some sort of massive underground complex, we should be able to end things fairly quickly. Especially since uh, there's no real fighting against the larger armies, so this is more or less just picking up stuff, probably walking the end of the map there. Level cap reach, okay. We were already capped before even starting this. One place at a time, so we can get all the attribute bonuses. This doesn't look like it'll go anywhere. This literally looks like it's just a little bit of extra resources you can pick up. Resources we have no need for. Also, there has been no change to the behavior of the teal player, so he's not really doing anything. This is probably the place we need to play out of the fight. This is the infinite, whatchamacallit. Who the hell was supposed to deal with this? 
Are heroes ready to fight Marikal? No. Okay. I see. I see. So, this is where we end things. That's the case. There might be a. Someone should probably go to the nearby town and buy every unit we can out of it. We still left a lot there, and looking at the enemy's strength, the fight there is not gonna be easy. It could be that every hero is literally going to have to fight there. So there's going to be some sort of specialty battle. I have no idea. They, this is something like this has never really happened before. So I don't know if it's just Hawk or is there an actual game mechanic for the game. Oh no, we had a casualty. Godric would be the best one to do it. He is the quickest one, so he can quickly get back here. The rest, it'll take some time. Not that it'll matter if they... If, oh shit, more attribute bonuses. Another city. Seems upgraded, but uh, also not that impressive, honestly. Right, I, I think I will end things here. It looks like we can go fight Markel very quickly, but at the same time, there's a little bit of area here, and... Fighting against Markel could be a fairly involved thing if we have to fight separate fights with three different heroes. And if something goes wrong, it's a lot of time to refight those fights, so 